Hi everyone, in continuation of the series of the videos discussing the fundamentals about investment and money management, let's discuss today about the direct mutual fund plans. So mutual funds are categorized based on various criteria and one of the criteria is whether you involve the mutual fund distributor or advisor or not. So based on this criteria, there are two categories direct plan and the regular plan. In the direct plan, the uh, investments in mutual funds are done without involving the distributor or agent. So when in one of the previous videos, I had discussed about mutual funds, I had told about the expense ratio and the expense ratio is basically the expense which mutual fund company charges to the consumer of mutual fund to cover the expenses related to research and distribution of mutual fund and also the fund management related charges. Now, if mutual fund company is the producer of the mutual fund product, then there are distributors and agents involved in between which take the product, mutual fund product to the uh, end user. And if the end user um, bypasses this distributor or agent, and directly approaches mutual fund uh, company to buy the mutual fund product. In that case, there will be lesser cost involved. And based on that, MFI, which is Association of Mutual Funds uh, in India, they have uh, instructed to mutual fund companies to pass on this cost saving benefit to back to the uh, consumer of the mutual fund. So based on this, there is direct plan, plan created so in regular plan, if you go for that, there will be a distributor or agent involved in that chain, distribution chain, and obviously there, there will be additional expense for that. So the main difference between direct plan and regular uh, plan for the mutual fund will be in terms of the expense ratio. Regular plans will have higher expense ratio to cover the cost related to distributor or agent, and reg uh, direct plan will have lower expense ratio because the cost benefit uh, in terms of savings because of the reduction of cost um, of cost for distributed agent that is saved and the benefit is passed on to the uh, end user. So the scheme remains the same, the portfolio for the scheme remains the same, fund manager remains the same, only the expense ratios are different and that expense ratio may be marginal or not uh, a great difference. But if the investment is done for very long term, maybe five years or longer, in that case, this expense difference compounds and can uh, make substantial difference uh, between the uh, returns because the expense for direct plans definitely is much lesser. So the different uh, difference in returns also reflects in the difference in terms of NAV. So for the same scheme, you know, for direct plan and for the regular plan, the NAVs will be different and NAV of obviously the direct plan will be higher than the NAV of um, regular plan. Now, why uh, we, uh, if we have understood this categorization, now we need to understand what kind of investors should go for direct plan. So direct plan are meant for uh, people who are having financial awareness, they are uh, aware about how to invest in mutual funds, what are the various categories of mutual funds and they can do their own selection and investment in mutual funds. For those kind of do-it-yourself investors or DIY investors, they can go for direct plans. For people who don't have that kind of awareness or financial literacy, they need help from distributor or advisor. Um, they, they need to go for the regular plan. The, uh, direct plans can also be used by those people who are using professional services, something like paid uh, service financial planner. If they are getting uh, financial advice from uh, that person, uh, some professional, in that case, they can go for direct plans. So um, that's how um, uh, like the difference in uh, end user come. Now, uh, that's why uh, direct plans may not be suitable for everyone. The cost saving is there in the direct plans. But if someone is not having financial awareness and he is not getting advice also from uh, some professional financial planner, in that case, it's not advisable to go for the direct plan. 
how to get these direct plans these direct plans can be bought by going to mutual funds website and getting the mutual buying the mutual funds from there itself or by starting the sip on the mutual funds uh, website or there are portals like mfus which stands for mutual fund utilities uh, from there uh, one can buy different companies mutual funds uh, direct plan by themselves that plans are also available at low cost brokers uh, brokers like zerodha upstocks uh, they also provide direct plans because these brokers typically don't provide the advisory services so brokers uh, online brokers like icic direct and uh, hdfc uh, investment um, uh, plans they they uh, provide advisory and that's why they are not able to provide the direct plans so if any advisor is involved in between then definitely the direct plan can't be provided then it has to be regular plan which has to be availed now the important thing uh, to note while buying the mutual funds if uh, like end users are buying it directly from mutual fund website or by filling the physical form is that one should pick the direct plan specifically only then one will be able to uh, avail the direct plan so that's an important thing to note if you don't tick the direct plan uh, check box in that case you will be getting the regular plan so i hope like i have been able to provide the information about what the direct mutual fund plan is and who it is suitable for and who it's not not suitable for if you have any queries please put them in the comments below i'll be more than happy to address those queries and discuss any points if they need more clarification i am dinesh kumar and i have a mega money community where i teach my students how to manage their money well and how to make investments to start their journey on the path of financial freedom keep following me on social media i'll be creating more such videos to provide you information about how to make investments and how to make the investment related decisions that's all for now thank you bye